Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got your usual breakdown for Isanzo's 21st dev blog. So the focus of today's dev blog was toxic gas, and how chemical weapons which were absolutely devastating on the Italian front are going to be used in-game and the varying effects it will have depending on the gas type and equipment. But first, before we get into the poison gas, we should talk a little bit about smoke screens. The first option for the chemical weapons category is the basic smoke barrage. It will be two shells of smoke designed to cover a relatively small area. It's much more useful for individual squad maneuvers than it is for the whole team. The step up from that, which is the third chemical weapons call-in, is the creeping smoke barrage, which fires 10 shells in a straight line making them much more useful for team-wide advances or retreats. But now we should talk about the real killers in the chemical weapons category, and the everlasting icon of World War 1. I'm of course talking about poison gas in particular, which going from weakest to strongest, we have tear gas. This is a two-shell barrage that covers a relatively small area, and it's the second option in the chemical weapons category. It will linger on the ground for 80 seconds, but of course this can be negated completely by wearing a gas mask. Nonetheless, it's the smallest and cheapest form of poison gas, so it should be pretty useful, especially for smaller scale assaults. The next level is the phosphine gas. This has both a bigger area of effect and an extra 15 second duration, with four shells being fired instead of the tear gases two, and a deadlier mix to back it up. Once again, wearing a gas mask will completely negate the effects, but this acts as a slightly stronger intermediate level of gas attack. Finally, we have the most deadly of the chemical weapons with the mustard gas. This is the final and most expensive chemical call-in in Isanzo. It fires five shells that last a whole 120 seconds and does the most damage of them all, killing very quickly if unmasked. Now, they mention here that in real life, you're not completely safe from this gas, even when wearing a mask, but it doesn't specify if you'll slowly take damage while in it or if it has any other debuffs. Another major question this dev blog arose was if there will be a quality difference in protection depending on the type of gas mask, because not all of them are created equal, and we get into the more rudimentary version here. So I'm not sure if there's a difference in efficiency between this and the other factory made one. Either way, all of these should support the gameplay flow of Isanzo substantially, so we'll just have to stay tuned as we enter the summer anxiously awaiting a release date. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.